She comes back. There's the rage. She should be able to secure the town hall. No! Oh, she uses her ability. Seeking shield does go off. Gets quite a bit of damage down, but she's Ooh. taking so much damage. The town hall beams. Will this queen be able to get the town hall with the invisibility spell? I don't believe so. That queen's going down, and it is a one star. And Ariam is this person to go for, deploying everything as quickly as he can to push everything into that middle part. He is using the Overgrowth spell again, which means the Town Hall is probably going to be one of the last buildings to go down. Indeed, we've got the Root Riders that they might be splitting a little bit. One's going to go path with the King and the Warden's actually going to be pulled into that middle part of the base. The other Root Riders are going towards the Eagle Artillery. Queen's reaching over these walls into this compartment. And as you said, the Overgrowth coming in hot, slowing down how much damage is coming in on the Town Hall and the Monolith at the moment. They will bypass it and then return back into this compartment to finally get it down. We have the troops really splitting away from their town hall. They have to be healthy enough to push through all of the remaining defense and then come back to the town hall. The king ability has been already used. And well, now the town hall is literally the last building. They have to summon up power all the way through. He has one rage left, but no other spells. There goes the rage. The root riders are already down, which means the king cannot get into the last couple of compartments. He's relying on the royal champion. She has her ability, but she has to get that town hall. Oh, she uses her ability. Seeking Shield does go off, gets quite a bit of damage down, but Ooh. she's taking so much damage. The Town Hall Beams are melting the remaining health away, and the Queen's health is slowly getting picked off as well. Just a few Peckers and the Phoenix remaining on the south hand side. Arium has to still get the Town Hall down, but I don't think it's going to be enough. And that is the crazy thing. If you're picking up those strategies, those approaches of the other teams, and you might have not the same routine with those approaches, it can result in this one-star type. We have seen this already now twice with the Overgrowth spell. This attack might be quick if it works, but it might backfire. It's, then it's really, really bad. Can the P.E.K.K.A. somehow get through this wall and still take down the Town Hall? I'm not really sure how many hit points the Town Hall has left. I think around like... 75% ish. Oh, oh no, it's 50. Half. It's actually half. This how might be possible for the Pekka. Pekka. Have? I wonder how much health does the Pekka have? How much Wait, damage is it does it take? Oh, he's with the, so with the town low. explosion? No. no. The Pekka was too low. That was so unfortunate. 98% one star. This is where it really shows that leaving that town hall up in the end can just be so risky. Pretty quick, so let's see what P Castro does. Indeed, it is Root Riders and Valkyries, as we're gonna have the Queen with the Healer Puppet. Indeed, yes, you're right. Now, I do see them on my stream, they do burn pretty quickly. I hope that it doesn't happen on this one because you can get really nice value, as you mentioned, by getting some additional health, especially. If you lose the Unicorn, it's really nice to get some additional health back up on the Queen because she's one of the strongest heroes in the game. Now, the Overgrowth spell in already on the Town Hall Monolith and Eagle Artillery. Those Eagle Artillery shots are not going to be hitting hard on these Root Riders. Now, the spell does not stop the Clan Castle troops from emerging, though. As you can see, they were all slowed down here by those Ice Golems, but not a lot of defenses were still up to slow them down. With that king being placed to the, I believe, is he in the core with the troops? I think he's at the top side of the base. There's a few Rue Riders are actually coming up there. Uh, the queen is actually making her way down to the bottom. And, oh, no, the king is also down at the bottom as well with the queen. So they're making their way through there as giant bombs have popped from the bottom side. But the town hall is now back active. And we have an invisibility spell near this town hall. So that could be a problem as he's already deployed the royal champion. Yeah, we've seen it oh, before no. when it looks like this with the monolith there, the eagle artillery hitting hard as well. Oh, I'm getting nervous because there's a lot of major defenses. We are missing the multi inferno here as well. As you can see, that will take down the unicorn. So good thing he does actually have the healers. There we go. They do pop onto that queen there. One of them is in range of this multi inferno. It looks like it will be taking a bit of damage. We'll be pulling them even closer. Wow. Though, but look at how much health the queen is getting back. 
look at that. These teams are fighting for speed, and it's costing them the one stars, potentially. Will this queen be able to get the Town Hall with the Invisibility spell? I don't believe so, and the Eagle Artillery is still raining fire down. That queen's going down, and it is a one star. Not good. Can only imagine here, but oh. let's... Oh. Go! <laughs> the Grand Finals has kicked off, and Ninja is in with the Root Riders and Valkyries. Going across this base with the Town Hall off to the left, and the Queen can actually step her way to the Town Hall if he has a wall break, but he actually doesn't. But there is one little wall open to which can allow the Queen to go in, but it looks like some Root Riders are kind of actually pathing in different directions here. Yeah, the water was like split up in between. Like, should I go left, right, left, right? And he was always bouncing between those different groups. But the rage in the core on defense is hitting hard versus those root riders. There's a lot of damage on them. The monolith deals a lot of damage as well behind the tunnel. That's why he's getting frozen up. The queen is not walking oh, into that tunnel compartment. That's and nuts. this is spelling bad news for a ninja. Oh, that is really bad. If that queen was supposed to make his her way to the town hall and that's where you could have used the funneling troop to help get her to go there but the queen okay she comes back there's the rage she should be able to secure the town hall no oh, no 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 no! this can't be a one this cannot be a one to start off the very first attack of the grand finals and he sends a barbarian to go in with the super barb oh no, wait a second the rc ability has also been forced no no oh, no does history repeat we had already a huge defense in their first match, and Synchronic was just able to play it safe, sending VM Legacy down to the lower bracket. And it seems like it's going to be the same story again. This time, it's Ninja falling short with the one star. The troops were just splitting up too much. The Warden could not decide which group to follow. The Queen did not go for the Town Hall, and this messed up the entire attack.